y'all. I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for coming back for yet another week. So I've had a lot going on this week and I got a lot of things to show you in this video. A lot of little tips here, there, over by there, over by everywhere. So I'll go ahead and put timestamps right here for you. So that way you can kind of skip to the part of the video that means the most to you. Or as I always say, I hope you'll watch the entire video all the way to the end. But the main thing I want to do today is I want to show you guys a really fun little project I started a little bit ago, growing some annual ryegrass in... But for now, what I'm gonna do is a video that's completely different, and that is I'm gonna grow some annual ryegrass and I'm gonna do it in pots. If you guys remember, we did a little experiment, I think it was last year, yeah, last year where I put plugs, grass plugs in pots and did different things to them and see how they grow and all that kind of stuff, and we came out with these really awesome root systems. I'll give you a link up here in the card if you wanna check that out. It's a really cool video, especially the results we got. Well, now what I'm gonna do this year is I'm gonna do it with some annual ryegrass. So annual ryegrass is something that people will plant in the south as like a cover crop in the winter, and that is not what this video is about. I don't even wanna get into all that. I'm just gonna grow some in pots because it's fun and I have a little bit more mild temperatures right now so I'm gonna see how long I can keep the annual ryegrass going as well as later in the video you're gonna see a little project we're starting over at my friend Chris's house he's got a big bare spot and we're gonna go ahead and put some annual rye in there as a cover crop and see what we can do with that having fun with that all winter until we can give it more of a permanent solution in the springtime all right so here's what we're working with over by there take a sip so we are I always like to plant stuff in sand because it offers no nutritional value and no help and it also has no impedance so roots can go straight down so when we pull things out of these pots we can see the root structure really nice I'm assuming that this is gonna work similar to how the plugs did maybe but either way I'm not doing as many pots as I did last time and not everything has to be a superlative competition but I want to just see some things for myself so here's what we're dealing with right here this is the Pennington grass seed people annual ryegrass quality since 1945 so you'd think they know what they're doing if they've been around that long and uh, you can see here this is uh, annual rye best for a temporary seasonal lawn now again a lot of people will do this in the south as like a winter overseed or a winter cover crop to make the lawn look pretty. I, I don't want to get into all that. If you want to ask real low dad about some of the experiences he had with that, I think some of his annual rye wouldn't even die off. Speaking of my friend Mike, the real low dad, he was in town earlier this week and got treated to some offshore and inshore fishing action and a little fried fresh seafood at my favorite restaurant, the River Roo. Mike, it was great seeing you, my brother. So. You can cause all kind of issues, so I'm not talking about that. This is strictly for fun. And by the way, you all uh, up north, you should grow some stuff. By the way, those of you up north, you should grow a pot of grass too. It's nice to grow a pot of grass like in your office window or whatever all during the winter time. It's like adult chia pets. So something you guys can do along with me. And you, you guys, you're growing it indoors. You could grow anything you want. This is a really the only seed I have available to me here in Florida besides Bermuda grass, but we might mess with something like that later. But for now, we're doing this annual ryegrass. And uh, I don't know anything about these annual ryegrasses, but it's called Spicer Annual Ryegrass. Spicer. Interestingly enough, because we always do care about these things, we can see here that noxious weed, 18 hairy chest per pound hairy chest per pound nine annual bluegrass per pound you see that i wouldn't i, would, I wouldn't think you'd want to put this in your lawn at all hairy chest hairy chestnut hairy hairy chest i don't know but there is definitely noxious weed in this i guess when you're doing annual overseeds they don't care that's something kind of interesting. Thanks a lot, Pennington, for putting in nine annual bluegrass per pound. Maybe it means nine grains. Man, 0.6 per ounce. That's crazy, man. Good thing we're just keeping this in a few pots over by there. And uh, when we do our experiment later, it's in somebody else's lawn and not mine. <laughs> All right, so down to what we're doing. We're gonna have one that's gonna be just naked control. We're gonna do another with hydrotain. The last time we did this, I really liked the results. This is made to be put down with grass seed. It should help you to, you know, on the days that you might miss a watering or whatever, it should help you out, blah, blah, blah. But I also think it does some cool stuff with the roots, just from my own experiences. So we're gonna take a look at that. This is X Start. So I don't have the bag, but that's X Start. That's what that is from Carbon Earth. So we're gonna have a little of that. And then the last one we're gonna do is some green pop. And uh, we might do second applications. I don't know, usually I lose interest in these things after a little while and I neglect them and then we go back like six months later and see what happened. But for right now, we'll see how these go. Let's get them potted up and let's get them watered.
stand up from the ground came a bubbling crude oil, that is, Texas tea, black gold. So here we go, here is the update. This is, uh, I'll put how many days it's been. And remember we're starting over here now, I wouldn't worry so much about making this a competition to start off and I'll tell you why in a minute. But uh, that's the Green Pop from Green County, that is X Start, that is Hydrotain only and that is a control with nothing but water. guys doing over there on Sunday hope you're having a good day I'm just out here on a side yard over in the Empire Zoysia over by here hanging out with my water softener and my air conditioner because you know I mean it's Sunday but the real reason I'm over here is to show you guys a new experiment I started since you're seeing it here on Instagram you're gonna get the uh, what do I say like the preview you're gonna get like the exclusive over by there this is annual rye grace in pure scene by the way let me ex let me apologize for the grotesqueness of my fat freaking sausage fingers sorry for you guys having to look at them but look at this germination in three days over by there now i have zoomed in here and so you could see them growing right there come on google focus you so really what i'm trying to illustrate here i mean i've got visuals that's what i got here this germination happened several hours before this and I planted these on Thursday. So what is that, Thursday to Friday to Saturday to Sunday? And they were even ignored all day on Friday while I was fishing with John Perry. But just look at them. Look at how beautiful these guys are down in there. Look at them growing, look at it. Cool season grass, growing in Florida. It's a beautiful thing. Those guys have a great Sunday. Now one of the things that you're gonna see is, you see how this is oriented in this direction, like it's thinner over here and then thicker over here, and even the grass is kind of pushed that way a little bit? That's because when I, and you'll see it in this one too, even though this one didn't suffer as much, but it's also oriented that way. This one is straight up and that one is straight up. What was happening was I was lazy in the way I was watering, and when I would water, these would actually get more water down here and this would get less, and the water that it did get was pushing everything that way. That's why that one looks the way it does. The other thing that happened though was, is that I had some paper towels that were covering these up as like a kind of blanket kind of deal. And uh, these three here, those blankets blew off and there was a whole bunch of seed stuck to it. So actually a fair amount of the seed from these three here was pulled out and lost. 
and that's pretty much how all the experiments that I do end up. I mean, I'm not like the backyard scientist over by here. I'm not super crazy about detail and keeping things even and all that, and that's obvious because then it allows me to get a little bit lazy down the road, which you guys know that's gonna happen. In like a month, I'm gonna forget about that project and I'm gonna let it sit there and die for like three months, and then we'll come back and look at the root systems of each one, and that'll be the fun part. In the meantime, though, if you do follow me on Twitter or Instagram, I'll keep posting updates of these. Instagram, I'm doing video updates of these every you know couple days or whatever, talking like this over by there, just so you know if you'll scroll over to Instagram, I do everything in an accent over there just because it's a little bit more fun. So if you like the accent, you'll definitely want to go to Instagram over by there. Link in the description below. And then Twitter I do too. So if you want to see further updates on those. But the big thing that I'm going to care about again is what's the root structure going to look like? Because we're growing this in pure sand as you can see. And so I'll be interested to see, you know, how much the roots can push down through these and what we'll end up with, you know, in a month or so. Yeah.